Hi there Disc Maniacs, I'm Leo Pieronen and this is What's in my bag. Let's start with the putting putters. Right now I'm using the D-Line P1. I like the orange color because my previous putters were orange as well. They were P2s, I used them from 2011 to 2019. And I made the switch because those P2s were way too worn out. They were flippy in the headwind and I scaled them and they were under 170 grams. So I made the switch to P1 because these are really straight from the box. So I don't have to use my P2s so long to make them go straight. So this is a great, great putter for me. We have the D-Line P2, max weight. It's a bit worn out, so I like to use it for short approaches and and hyzer shots. Then I have the S-Line P2 with the Pikachu stamp on it. It's a bit worn out, so I like to use it for straight shots. And it can handle a bit tailwind, but usually I just throw it straight up to 80 meters. I throw the white one to about 50 meters. But yeah, this is really reliable. I can throw it harder than the D-Line. Somehow the S-Line just holds the power more better than the D-Line for me. First run C-Line MD2. This disc was released back in 2010 and it has been in my back since then so it's a really old disc as you can see it's really worn out it's really understable so pretty much the use of it is those turnover shots with the little hyzer on it so it can flip to flat and then glide to the right so yeah pretty useful with the tailwind as well more stable version of the MD2, first run S-Line MD2. This is pretty new, a bit worn out but still goes straight. Maybe the straightest disc I have ever thrown with the mid-range section. I can throw this really hard and it, it still goes straight. It doesn't really fade or flip, it's, it's a kind of a point and shoot disc. And then maybe one of the newest discs in my bag is the Evolution Line Method. I like the orange color of the primal run, so that's why I'm using this one right now. The method can really hold hold to some power, so I like using this for longer shots when I can really rip this disc. The method doesn't really like to flip, it just go, goes straight and then has a nice, nice re reliable fade on it. Then I have the C-Line MD4. This is only for sidearm throws for me. Somehow the flatness of the disc just really fits my hand. It doesn't wobble when I throw with the sidearm, so that's a good reason for me to use it for those short approaches with the sidearm. And also the mid-range disc doesn't skip as much as drivers do when you throw them with the sidearm to the basket. I have one Color Glow FD on my back. This is one of the most understable throwing discs in my bag. As you know, FD is a great ferry driver who wants to have a bit glide on their discs. So this is one for me. I use this one for tailwind shots. And because it's a bit understable, I can throw it flat, then it flips over and wants to glide right. But yeah, pretty glidey disc. Not so fast like a PD. So I'm not using this for over 100 meter shots, not too often, but a great favorite driver. The next favorite driver is one of my favorite ones. Of course, it's the FD2 Royal Rage. I have two of them. The first one is worn out, orange one, 175. And the FD2 really fits my hand with the sidearm, so I pretty much use it for 
longer shots than the MD4 can handle for me. I throw this disc up to 100 meters with the sidearm and the same distance with the backhand as well. The FD2 is really good disc between the FD and FD3. FD is a bit understable, FD3 is the overstable and this is the most stable of these three. Then I have the blue one right here. This is pretty new, so it can ha handle more wind than the orange one right here. I like to use the orange one with sidearm, starting the line with a bit hyzer, then it flips to flat and has a nice fade. And this can be thrown flat from the start. FD3. I have two of them. The first one is first run C line. This is a bit worn out, still overstable. It can go a bit more straight than the Glow FD3. This is the most overstable run I have ever thrown from the FD3. I like to use two of them because this is a, a bit more worn out so it doesn't fade as much. And this is the most overstable disc in my back from the fairway lineup. Then let's go to the last fairway driver in the main section and it's the Evolution Line Instinct. The best way to describe this disc is point and shoot. It's just so so straight disc I can grab it, point it, shoot it and it goes where I throw it. Really straight disc for me and I recommend it to anyone who wants to have a straight fairway driver with great glide. I have three PDs in my bag right now. The first one we have here is the First run S-Line PD. This is really worn out, really understable, so it's great, great for tailwind, turnover shots, and starting with the hyzer to flat and then a bit fade. Great disc. Second, first run S-Line PD. This is not so worn out a bit, but still can handle some headwinds. This is the one I thrust when I have to go really far, but I don't have to have too much fade on my disc, so this is the tool for those shots. First run C-Line PD. This is probably the most important disc for me in my back right now, because it's the first, first run C-Line PD I have ever thrown. It was sent me back in 2010. It had a little test mark on it, so it was a test run, kind of a and test disc for team players to try. But yeah, it has been in my back over 10 years now. It's really worn out, but it's not that understable that many people would think the 10, 10 years old disc would be. It's a pretty straight, even though it's so worn out, but it still wants to turn a bit, turn, turn a bit over. But usually I throw this with a bit hyzer on the start so it can flip to flat and then have the fade it has left. But yeah, really important disc for my game. I have two DD3s in my bag right now. The pink one is a worn out version and this is pretty brand new. The pink one is for turnover shots with backhand and sidearm and this one can handle the headwind better than the pink one. And then of course because I'm a Discmania player I have to have the most overstable disc in Discmania lineup, PD2. I haven't used the PD3 at this point so I can't really tell how overstable it is but for me the PD2 is the overstable disc in my back right now. Then I have some discs in my side pockets, so let's go them through as well. Right here on the right side, I have pretty much my sidearm discs. Let's start with the most understable one, 
and it's the first run S-Line DD. This is really worn out, so it's really understable. I can throw it with great hyzer. It wants to flip flat and sometimes turn over, depending on how much power I put on it. Then I have just a regular S-Line DD. This is more stable than the light blue one there. I can put more power behind it. It doesn't flip that much like the understable one. So it's like it's big brother. And then I have one more DD in my back. It's the Swirly S-Line DD. And this is the most overstable of these three. Can handle more wind than the dark blue one. So yeah, pretty much for the headwind and when I want to throw really hard, I, th I throw this one. And the last only for sidearm disc is the worn out S-Line PD-2. This is more overstable than the Swirly DD. So I have four only sidearm discs and I have every, every stable and flight, flight pattern covered with these four discs. Then the second side pocket is right here. And there I have three PD-2s. These are more like extra discs in my bag right now. The first PD-2 here is first run C-Line PD-2. I use it mainly for sidearm because it's so beaten up. It's over 10 years old and I'm starting to throw rollers with this because beaten up overstable discs go really far when you put the right angle on them. You can watch Simon throw some PD2s with rollers on YouTube. And then I have two crazy overstable PD2s. This is for sidearm because it's so flat and gummy. I can grab it better with sidearm. I used this back in 2016 when I won the European Championships. The wind there was really crazy so this disc came handy in those situations. And the last PD2 from the side pocket section is my signature Luster PD2 for winning the European Championship. It's funny how windy it was in the championship final day and my PD2 came out to be one of the most overstable runs of the PD2 so some kind of connection right there between the final day situation and the most overstable run of the PD2. Then I have two more like special discs for me in the upper part of the bag. So let's check them out. And here I have the Swirly S-Line MD5. The MD5 is so overstable I don't have to keep it in my bag every day. So it, 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 it's only in my bag when it's really windy out there and I want to trust my approaches with the MD5 to handle those crazy headwinds so yeah special discs for windy days and then I have my new roller disc and it's the D-Line FD I used to throw the D-Line TD but for me the TD was a bit too understable and when I threw it anhyzer or flat it always wanted to curl a bit too much to the right, so I switched to FD. This one holds the line a bit longer, so it doesn't curl to the right as much as the TD. So let's hope 
this brings me more those longer rollers. As you can see, I'm not using the grip back, but instead instead of it, I'm using the Discmania Expedition back, and I can show show you a little bit what kind of bag it is. So as you saw, I have the main section for the discs right here. Then there is a upper part where you can put your jacket or clothes or more discs as I do. Then there is the powder pocket, side pockets for discs and maybe the best thing about this bag is the backside main section slot so when it's raining you can open this this section here and keep your discs dry out there when it's raining so that was what's in my bag thank you for watching and i'll see you out there <laughs>